Hi, I'm Lorena, and I'm going to show you how to do a cited reference search for this particular article, Willow Smoke and Dog's Tales, Hunter-Gatherer Settlement Systems and Archaeological Site Formation. And I'm going to notice that it's by Lewis R. Binford. It was published in the journal American Antiquity, and it was published in 1980, and I see the citation information from there. So what I'm going to do to start with is I'm just going to remember that it's Lewis R. Binfield, and it was published in American Antiquity. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to open up another window, and you can see all my messy stuff over here. Let's go to the library homepage really fast. And from the library homepage, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Subject and Resource Guides. And uh, if I knew the database that I was looking for to find this, by the way, I could go up here to find journal articles. I could go to databases A to Z, and I could search for one of our citation databases. We have three, Web of Science, Scopus, and the freely available Google Scholar. But I'm going to just start from now uh, looking for our citation database page. So I'm going to go to Subject and Resource Guides, and under the search box, I'm going to search for citations. Let's spell that right. Okay. When I do that, I get a couple of guides, and looks like this is the one I want, Finding Citation Counts Using Web of Science and Other Sources. So I'm going to click on this, and it looks like, that's me, looks like there's a link, there's a tab here, Web of Science and Scopus Access, and that's good, because this guide is telling me that there are three citation ecosystems, Web of Science, Scopus, and Google Scholar. So we'll go ahead to Web of Science, and let's go ahead and click on the link. And this is going to take me to our Web of Science database. And you'll notice that it's searching things in the sciences, the social sciences, and the arts and humanities. Our topic had to do with agriculture, with uh, archaeology, I think. That's probably going to be mostly in the arts and humanities citation index, but we'll search all of these to be careful. Okay, when I'm looking for cited information, the best thing to do, the best way to get my results is to do a cited reference search. I would be able to get information by doing a regular search, but I will get more citations using a cited reference search. So I'm going to go here, and you can see it looks like it remembered this from when I did this before. I put in the author's name, Binford LR, and it's really important that I use the abbreviations. And then we're going to pretend I didn't know the abbreviation for the journal. I can't just type in the name of the journal, American Antiquity. I have to go to the journal abbreviation list and then do a search, control F, for American Antiquity. And let's find that. Let's try that again. Eh, let's try that again. Let's see. American Antiquity. Ah, we'll just look for it by hand. It looks like I'm totally misspelling all of this. There we are, American Antiquity. And it looks like the abbreviation is AM Antiquity. So I'm going to copy that using a control C, and then I go back to the tab that had my, had my search, and I'm going to paste this in. Notice it's in capital letters, and you know that's probably a good thing to do, even though the examples show that it's not in capital letters. Okay, I could put in the year here in 1980, because I know that was when my article was published, but I'm not going to do that, because as we're going to see, people when they cite articles oftentimes put in a lot of errors, and I want to make sure that I get everything I might possibly get. So I'm going to go ahead and do my search. And it looks like I have a number of things here. So I'm looking for the ones that were published in 1980. There's one, and uh, here's one, here's one, here's one. This is the major one. Notice that it gives a DOI for the article, and it also has a link that says View Record, and it has the most citations. This is the complete citation. All of the other ones are either variant citations, because they might link to a particular page in the article, or they get something wrong. We'll see instances where the volume is wrong, or the page sequence is completely wrong. You see a lot of errors there. So that's something that you want to be aware of, because even though they made errors, these are still legitimate citations that we want to include. So I'm going to go through there and make sure I have all of the citations from the 1980 article. Then when I'm done, I click on Finish Search. 
and you can see that I got 536 citations. Now this isn't all the citations to that particular article. Um, one thing is that Web of Science only covers a certain number of journals. So if a journal that's not covered by Web of Science cited this particular article, we're not going to be able to find it. Also, um, not necessarily in this case, but our subscription to Web of Science doesn't go all the way back. So if our article had been published, say, in 1975, we might not be able to find earlier citations because our access only goes back to a certain point. So here I have my 536 citations, and you can see I can sort them in particular ways if I want, and I can even analyze results, which lets me kind of narrow things down by particular information, for example, um, the affiliations from someone. I can look at organizations and see their affiliations. Uh, or I could also use this Create Citation Report, which gives me this really ni nice graph. I can get some statistics. I can look at some cool graphs. Um, there's some fun things that I can do. But now what I can do is go ahead and click on these. Let's and when I click on it, you'll see I get a summary. I get the citation. And I can look over here, and under the cited references, I'll actually see my article. So somewhere in these 241 citations, they're citing our article by Mr. Binford, by Dr. Binford, and um, it may be just sort of a, a basic sort of reference, or they might be making some sort of argument about what Bimford discussed in his article. So it could be a neutral citation, a positive citation, or even a negative citation. So, but for that to find out, you're actually going to have to find the article. So this gives me all the citation information here, and I see you know my author, and I can get a sense of the author's affiliation down over here. Um, and then to actually get a copy of the article, I'm going to go up to find it. At WSU, and if this article is available at WSU, then I can click on the link and go to the online access. I can see if we have it in print, if we don't have it online. If we don't have it online and we don't have it on print, I can put in an interlibrary loan request. So that's kind of the process for finding information about citations. And you can see it looks a little bit complex, but there's a lot of valuable information here. Very quickly, though, I just want to show you one other thing. If we go to Google Scholar, scholar.google.com, and we search for our article. Let's go find the title of the article we were looking for. Let's go over and grab this. If I paste this into Google Scholar, it's so long I'm not even going to worry about putting the title in quotation marks, you'll notice that I got, get a lot more citations. One of the things is that Web of Science does not do, at least for the subscription we have, does a very bad job of indexing citations in books. So um, this article was probably cited a number of times in books as well as by articles. So these um, 1,100 citations may indicate citations from books, but some of these may also be blog postings or syllabi or or papers written by people who were students, um, and not necessarily scholarly peer-reviewed articles. Everything that you find in Web of Science and our other citation database, Scopus, is going to be scholarly and peer-reviewed. The Google system gives you more results, but you have to do a little bit more investigation to make sure that they're actually all legitimate. Let's go ahead and look at these. And in some cases, you know, you'll see, you'll see they're legitimate, and others you might be, well, I'm not so sure about that. There are other ways to find citation information, so you may want to go back to our citation guide and um, take a look at some of the information on this page. If you have any questions, contact Lorena. Her information is right here, or my information is right here, and I'd be happy to help you.